Hey guys, what's up? So today's video is going to be on how to free up memory on your iPhone or iPod Touch easily without respringing or restarting. Um, now, I'm sure there's other applications out here, but this is just my way that I think is simplest and the best. So the first thing you're going to have to do is open up Cydia, go over to search, and type in SB settings. Okay, no space though. And hit search. Now it should be in the S. Right there. So it says SB settings, click on it, install it, and then um restart your iPhone and iPod Touch. I know it's going to tell you to respring. Make sure you completely restart it by holding the home and power button until it turns off and then holding the power button until it turns back on. Once you are all rebooted, you will be at the home screen. Now, as you can see, there is no icon for this whatsoever. But as you can see at the top right here, it says 45 uh, MB, which is how much free space uh, my iPod has on it right now, how much free memory. So, to activate it, all you have to do is either slide your finger across the top bar here, and it brings it down, or tap with two fingers. You can also take your thumb, hold it at the uh, where the time is, and drag it down, and it also brings it down. Now, as you can see, this is basically the settings app. Mine is set up a little bit different than yours because I customized it. So, the first thing you're going to have to do is when you bring out down SP settings, click more and it'll open this up. It's going to say initializing at the bottom and wait till it's done. Once it's done, go to set toggles and then here is where you're going to uh, have to make sure that processes is on. If it is not on, you won't have processes thing. Now click home and it'll respring. Crap, I just lost VNC. Let's try that again. Well, obviously, when you respring, you lose the VNC connection. So, sorry about that. But, once it comes back on, I will reconnect. Okay. And we are back. Okay. Now that we're back... Oh, God damn it. Alright, sorry about that. Okay. So all you're going to have to do is drag it down now, and you're going to see the processes right here. It's going to have a little stone crossbones. Click on that, and here you will see your running applications in the memory. Um, now let's uh, let's open up iPod, Safari, and now we'll look at it. And uh, now you see that Safari and iPod are there and um, it is using up a little bit more memory. As If you're listening to music, it uses up memory if you're searching the internet. So, when you need more memory because your games are lagging a lot or you just want to speed up your device, go over to this and just uh, delete these processes and then click free up memory. And it'll take five seconds and it'll free it up and it'll give you more memory. Now, if you're wondering how to get at the top bar where it says how many megabytes of free space there is, you just go to more. You go to mobile sub substrate add-ons. And here, you will be able to uh, toggle different things, like the preference loader, simulate key events. Now. Um, to get the MB at the top, you go to Extras and Options, and here's where you can choose a whole bunch of different things. Numeric batteries, Wi-Fi, GSM, whatever that is, uh, status bar date instead of time, uh, 24 hour, um, a whole bunch of stuff. So, if you like this video, please make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe to my videos, and hopefully you will subscribe and you will see my video in the next few days. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you guys later.